beautiful clothing material. Wow, I love it. Beautiful artwork. I wish I could afford paintings like these. Those are called design stations. They have the necessary computer-aided design tools for image making. Beautiful artwork. I wish I Wow, I love it. It's an advertisement flyer. It's an advertisement for a laser hair removing device, which can be used wet or dry. It's hard to imagine people using sticky wax in order to remove unwanted hair. Ouch. Hi, I'm Senior Officer Phoenix Wallace from the Adrianopolis Peace and Security Center. I was looking for Mr. Arnett. Mr. Arnett is not available at this moment. And you are? Oh, my name is Gladys Castle, and I'm Mr. Arnett's assistant. Well, Ms. Castle, I'm here for official business, and I need to talk to Mr. Arnett. As I told you, he is not available right now. Would you like to make an appointment for a later time? No. Let me remind you that I am a peace officer on official business. I suggest you tell Mr. Arnett to make time for me. Are you an employee of the GPSN? Yes. I told you that I was. Just wanted to make sure. Well, I regret to inform you that you cannot see Mr. Arnett even for official business unless he agrees to see you. And he specifically instructed me not to disturb him for anything. He has no choice. This involves an active case. It does not matter, Officer Wallace. You see, the World Class Image Makers Association, otherwise known as WEMA, the organization that Mr. Arnett is affiliated with, has a special agreement with the GPSN. According to this agreement, a GPSN officer cannot insist on meeting a senior member of WEMA. That sounds like bullshit to me. Get out of my way. I need to talk to him. I'm going to disregard your foul language at this time. But if you insist on seeing Mr. Arnett, I'm going to have to report you to WEMA. And they will directly deal with your immediate supervisor at the GPSN. I suggest you check your company rules. I see. You're serious. I would like to make an appointment with Mr. Arnett. And is this about an image makeover? You know I'm not here for an image makeover. Oh. But you should be, Officer Wallace. I can tell. You desperately need a new image. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Oh, no. The compliments come after our awesome image makeovers. Shall I sign you up for one? I don't wish to have an image makeover. I merely wish to speak to Mr. Arnett. In that case, let me check the appointment database. Hmm. He is available for you on Monday, four weeks from now. But I cannot wait four weeks. Please inform him that this is very urgent. It involves a former client of his. I just cannot disturb him, Officer Wallace. Do you want to make an appointment? All right. All right, but please tell me if there's an opening available sooner. Of course I will. Thank you. Is there no respect for peace officers in our society? She didn't even take me seriously. It's getting late and I'm beat. Time to head home. No deliveries.
Welcome to the Court Network. Tonight we continue broadcasting live the landmark case of Simpson versus Kane. What should I wear? Hmm. I need to get going, or else I'm going to be late for my meeting with Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Well, hello, dear. What's up, Ms. Private Eye? Oh, will you stop calling me that? I'm not a private investigator. Lighten up, Phoebe. I'm just teasing you. Really, how are you? I feel sort of dizzy. Too many things happened today. Dizzy? You probably caught some nasty sickness from one of those immigrants down at your office. Oh, don't be so crude. The immigration applicants all get decontaminated prior to entering the compound. They're certainly cleaner than we are. Oh, you don't believe that, do you? Sandra, get on with it. Sandra, I witnessed the freakiest thing. I still can't believe what I think I saw. Let me guess. One of your stinky immigrants on the cover of Cosmo Online? No, Sandra. Can't you be serious for one minute? I really want to share something with you. Oh, I love it when you get defensive like this. So, tell me, what did you see? I saw one of the Immigration Academy students in the Union side of the Academy Gardens. Of course, he was not supposed to be lurking around there, so I chased after him. Then, as I was about to catch him, he walked right through an iron gate. So, did you go through the gate made of iron as well? Um, actually, no. I smacked into the gate and fell on my ass. No, oh, poor baby. That'll teach you not to mess around with illegal mind altering drugs and alcohol. Well, thanks, Sandra. Thanks for the support. You wouldn't believe the case that came my way. What? Another stinky nutcase trying to make his way into the World Union? Nothing like that. This case is much more intriguing. Intriguing? Hmm. Sounds secretive. Can't wait to hear all the details. I have a murder case to solve. A murder? You've got to be joking. Would I joke about a murder? Come on. You've pulled my leg before. Wait a minute. You're serious, aren't you? Of course I am. But I haven't heard anything about a murder on the news. The case is being kept confidential by judge's orders. I can't believe it. Here? In Adrianopolis? No, in Russia. A Union citizen named Vasily Bogdanov was murdered in Odessa. Where the hell is Odessa? It's a port city on the Black Sea. You want to know about this murder case, don't you? Sure, tell me all the gory details. Well. The man was murdered with a firearm. What is a firearm? Some kind of stick on fire? No, my dear. A firearm is a weapon that was used almost a century ago. In these archaic weapons, an explosion takes place in a tiny chamber, and a small metal piece, called a bullet, is projected at high speed towards a target. Oh, Phoenix. You went into your long, drawn-out explanation mode again. Can you tell me what it is in simple terms? Okay. A firearm makes a lot of noise, causes a lot of pain, and can kill you. Oh, one of those barbaric pain-inflicting weapons. What was he doing in a rogue state anyway? I don't know yet, but he used to own the thing store at the pyramid. Do you know him? No, I don't. 